Okay, so today we're going to do the Kirchhoff's loop rule and Kirchhoff's nut junction rule. And so the loop rule says that if you add up voltages around any loop in a circuit, you get to zero. The junction rule says that if you take the current coming into a junction where two or more wires meet, that has to equal the current going out of the junction. Okay, so let's test this. So I'm gonna build a circuit. So this is, um, oh, this is in, I should show you the address. This is FET. I'll post a link to this, FET.colorado.edu. Great simulators, free stuff, good. So I'm gonna take a battery. I can just drag that down there. Uh, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna connect three resistors. So I'm gonna have one in series and then two in parallel. And let's just set up the circuit and then we'll measure stuff. Uh, actually, first of all, if you click this, is that 10 ohms? You can't see that really well. 10 ohms, I can change that. Let's change this one to 20. Let's change this to 20. Let's slide that up to 20. It doesn't really matter, 21. And this 30. Can I change it up here? No. Okay, 30-ish. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> now I just need to connect these with wires, so I'm gonna grab a wire right there. I'm gonna try to make it look pretty. So you just drag these and click them into things and it should work. Check that out. Okay. I'm gonna make it kind of look like an actual circuit. So I have too many wires, but. Yeah, I'll do it this way. I was thinking I'd make a shortcut, but I think there's a way you can put a bend in these wires, but I'm not really that smart. Okay, now you notice here they show they show these little charges moving. It shows you there is indeed current. And in fact, you, you can actually visually see that these currents right here and there are different, but we're gonna actually measure it. So the first thing we wanna do though is measure the voltages. So if I take any part and I measure the change in potential over all the elements around a loop like this, it should be zero. I'm gonna do two loops, even though there are three loops here. So I'm gonna take my voltmeter right there, okay? And I have here, I'm gonna take this to the positive side and this to the negative side. And I get nine volts. Okay, so let me write that down. I'm gonna um, write it in here, just, just for, so I can say VB equals nine, plus nine. Okay, go back over here. Now I'm gonna, I wanna keep these probes in the same order. This one's still in the front, so I'm gonna put it right there. And I'm gonna put this one right here. So you see now it's a negative voltage, because um, I'm, uh, I'm going with the current, the conventional current. But it doesn't really matter. So I get negative 4.06, so I'll call that V1. V1 equals negative 4.06, okay? Now I'm gonna do the next one. I'm staying, keeping this one in front. I'm gonna take this one off. And I'm gonna put this one right here, and this one right here, and I get negative 4.94. V2 is negative 4.94. Okay, now there's no other elements. You see, I can even do this wire right here. No voltage, right? I can go from here to there. So I'm, I skip these wires, but they have no, there's no voltage. And these are ideal wires. If you measure your wires, you'll probably get zero too, because it's pretty small. So there, I have all the voltages, now I can add them up. I'm gonna go over here, so I'm gonna say V total equals VB plus V1 plus V2 print V total. And you could do that in a calculator, I'm just using the Python right here. And no surprise, zero, boom, it worked. What do you think about that? Cool, huh? Okay, now let's do this loop right here. Okay, so I'm gonna start, it doesn't really matter where you start, I'm gonna start right here. I get 4.9, that's fine. Now as I go, that's positive. This is different than the way I did it before because I had the red probe over here. But now as I go around, I want to go, this one has to stay in the front, right? And I get negative 4.94. So if I add up the voltages around this loop, I get zero. So it does indeed work. Everything's great, right? Okay, now let's get rid of the voltmeter 
how to get rid of the voltmeter. Move these wires here. There's a way to get rid of it. Okay, this is moving over to the side. There. Out of sight, out of mind. Okay. Now I want to measure uh, the current. So I want, like right here is a junction. I want to measure the current coming into the node and the current coming out of the node. So I call this I1, I call this I2, I call this I3. So let's measure I1. Now remember, to measure current, I have an ammeter right there. This one's a little bit different because it looks like a wire. And think of an ammeter like a wire because it is. We need the current to go through here. So in order to measure current, I need to break apart the circuit. I'm going to break it apart right here by clicking and cutting. And now I can put this right there, and then I can move this right there, move that right there. Is it connected? Yeah. So I get 0.41 amp. Now the direction does matter. I'm going to keep the direction the same. So 0.41 amps are going into the thing. So let's say I1, 0.41. Okay, now I'm going to break this again because I need to get rid of that. Cut it. And cut it over here too. Cut it. Okay. Now I'm going to put this back over here. I'm going to cut this part. I want to measure this wire. Let's just put it in between this resistor and this wire because that'll be easier to cut. Cut that. Put it right here. And put this right there. So I get 0.24 amps. That's I2. 0.24. Okay. Now I'm going to cut it. Remember, you have to take apart the circuit in order to measure current. Now I'm going to do the same thing, cut it up here, put the ammeter in, 0.17. So I want to show, this is a comment, I1, that's the current going in, equals I2 plus I3. Okay, so I already have I1, so let's just print out uh, I2 plus I3. Point four one, same as I1. So that one does work too. That junction works. If I do over here, then the current coming in is going to be I2 and I3, and the current going out is I4. Uh, so you can see, oh, that looks weird. I was connected though. Um, so you can see that junction rule works. You can try this in different circuits. You can try it in more complicated, less complicated circuits. But this is a really great tool to help you practice creating circuits because uh, you can kind of see how everything's hooked up. Um, so there you go. Great tool.